In our One Health series, we're talking about reducing antibiotic usage for the fight against antibiotic resistance on our farms. One of the key elements to disease and infection on our farms is biosecurity, and that's keeping disease out. And bioexclusion is the, what we talk about there. Biocontainment is when disease occurs on our farm, we try and stop it spreading. When we talk about biosecurity, we often think about foot bats and foot depths coming into our farms. But the most important risk of all is animals being brought in. That's why how a lot of infections are transferred from farm to farm. While not every farm can keep a closed herd, it's important to remember when we do buy in animals that we look at where the animals have come from, what diseases they might have, and quarantine is so important, and not enough farms practice that. Then when we look at things like visitors, things like foot bats are really, really important, but also equipment, slurry, all can play roles in disease spread through our farms. Biosecurity is critical, and we're going to talk a little bit more about it in this One Health video. Biosecurity is a really important concept in the whole idea of preventing disease in our animals and also protecting human and animal health. It really is the whole One Health concept in principle, whereby we prevent disease entering our farms, or at least if it does enter, that we minimise its spread within the farm. The Department of Agriculture is keenly focused on developing a national on-farm biosecurity programme in 2019. Developing this programme is a key priority for the Department of Agriculture. The Rural Development Plan already supports measures around biosecurity and has developed these measures in partnership with AHI. These are specific disease restriction measures around BVD, Yonase and somatic cell count. We also have a biosecurity programme in place on our pig and poultry farms where we can go in and measure the degrees of biosecurity measures in place both externally and internally on the farm. Finally, it is important to know that as farmers under the new animal health law, you will have a distinct responsibility to have biosecurity programmes in place on farm and to have a knowledge of biosecurity principles in practice. Okay, one of the most important factors, Caroline, is keeping disease out of our farms, biosecurity. Um, I suppose it's buying animals in is the big risk, isn't it? Why, why are animals the risk? Well, buying in animals, you could be buying in disease as well, and you don't know what you're actually buying in. So the whole idea about maintaining your external biosecurity is to try and keep the herd as closed as possible. But if you are buying in, to buy in from a herd that has a good herd health status. Okay. So uh, the, another thing people talk about when there's biosecurity is your boundaries and people entering your farm. And why is that important? Because obviously anything that comes into your farm can be carrying disease. So visitors, even the spreading of slurry, that your equipment, if you're sharing equipment, these are all ways that disease can enter your farm. So we want to keep disease out of our farm because if we've less disease, we've less antibiotic usage. So it's, it's kind of underpins everything we were talking about of reducing antibiotics. I suppose a disease does occur on farm and it does get in. Um, how do we stop disease spreading in our farms? What kind of things can we do, simple things can we do? When animals are sick, is it, is it about quarantining? Is it about having hospital pens? What can we do when, when, when it occurs in our farm? Absolutely, Tommy. It's, it's, it's about isolating any sick animals so that there isn't the risk of the spread of the disease to the healthy animals. So having effective quarantine pens and isolation areas, ensuring that staff are not, if they are going from healthy to sick animals, that they disinfect appropriately. So all those kind of measures to keep the disease in the one place. So the farm of the future really has to pay attention to biosecurity because we're going to be using less antibiotics. We want to be using less antibiotics and by focusing in on biosecurity, I think we can, we can do a better job around disease management can't we? Absolutely, because bio better biosecurity means healthier animals and healthier animals means less antibiotics. Very good.